Divas. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys my demo and my review as well as swatches on the new Makeup Shayla collection in collaboration with ColourPop. So if you guys are interested, then go ahead and stay tuned. Oh, hey Divas. So jumping right in today, we have the Shayla Times ColourPop collaboration by Makeup Shayla. So once you open up the box, this is how it looks. I did order the PR package. So first we are pulling out the Perception palette and it does have the names on the back and then I'm gonna show you guys how the colors look and then we're gonna swatch them. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the first row. So swatched here is Unbothered, TF, Titus, and Stallion. And the next row is Spill the T, Diva, IE, and 14. The next row is Strut and Slay, Culture, Sassy, and September. The last row is Revenge, Thick, Played Out, and Shade. So let's move on to the lipsticks. Okay, Divas, so now we're moving on to the lipsticks. So the first lipstick I'm swatching is Come On Sis. The second one is Quickie, which is the one I'll be featuring today in the demo. And then the last one is called Ooh, which is like a peachy color on me. Next, we'll move on to the Ultra Glossy Lip, which is called Neat Freak. And I'm just going to swatch that. And this is so beautiful, you guys. Actually, all the swatches are beautiful, but I really love this one. It's like a clear gloss with like the iridescent specks. So next, we're going to move on to the highlights. So the first one I have here is called Pose. And it's just a really, really gorgeous color. I don't really know how to explain it, so that's why I'm swatching them. So you guys can see I'm not good at explaining it. But the next one is called Boomin', of course. And I'm going to be featuring this one today. And I really do like it. I will say that. Kind of a spoiler alert. But yeah, the last one is called Boomin', and yeah, those are pretty much the swatches, so stay tuned for the demo and review. So here is the gorgeous palette here. I am super duper excited, you guys. Like, look at how, and of course it has a mirror, but I don't want to blind you guys with the ring light. So look at how gorgeous these colors are. Like, how gorgeous is this? Okay, so I'm going to do something that is a little bit more smoky. So anywho, we're going to start off by prepping our eyes. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Okay, I felt like we needed to be a little bit closer. So now that I have my concealer blend out, I'm going to go ahead and go in with Culture. Just to start off as a transitional shade, I feel like that would be a good one. So there is some fallout with this palette but i don't mind it at all because it's really pigmented and it's blending out really smooth so so far from what i could see so i don't really mind that most eyeshadow palettes that have a lot of pigment have fallout so the fallout is not like extremely too much in my personal opinion next i'm going to go in with the shade thick Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Revenge. Ooh, Revenge is really pigmented. Like, you got to be careful with that one. I was not expecting that. I mean, thick is too, but I just went in with a little bit because I don't want to make it too orangey. But I should have been a little more careful with Revenge. Like, I definitely underestimated Revenge. So on the outer edges, I'm going to just go back in with the color Culture just to kind of blend out the edges and soften them up because I totally underestimated Revenge. So next for my lid, I'm going to go in with the color Shade. And I was really attracted to this color because it has like some rose gold reflex. Like although it's a dark color, it has like rose gold reflex. And I thought it would be really, really pretty on the lid and just make it look really smoky. So I'm going in with that. And I'm actually using a concealer brush. I don't know what brush this is, but just use like a concealer brush that's like really precise. So I'm going to go in and blend out any harsh lines. <laughs> So now that we have that done, I keep looking at the palette and I keep looking at Spill the Tea. So I think I'm going to actually add Spill the Tea on the center. But first I'm going to go back in with a little bit more shade um, on the outer perimeter and the inner portion of my lids. So I am clearly obsessed with shade, but anyways, we are going to take Spill the Tea here. Sorry, my camera is washing it out or my lighting. Um, I'm going to take Spill the Tea and I'm going to apply that to the center of my lid. Like 
I am really liking how this looks in the middle of the shade color. Like it looks really pretty and just make the eyes pop. Of course I have to still blend it, but just placing it, it already looks really pretty. I like it. So just to deepen up my crease a little bit, I'm going to take Played Out, which I absolutely love the color, the name of the colors um, in this palette. Like it's like you can really tell that she took her time to like really name these colors, which I know you're like, duh, but I don't know. I think that it's really cute, like the names that she chose. So now I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom. I'm going to just add Played Out to the outer inner portions. And then I'm going to add, um, what is the color? Spill the tea in the sex. Okay, Diva, so I have on my lashes. And before, I did apply Better Than Sex Mascara. So I forgot to mention that before. But anyways, um, now it's time to apply the lips and the highlighter and everything. I'm going to start off with the lips. So for my lip liner, I'm going to be using this one by Italia Deluxe. And it's just a brown lip liner. You could literally just use, like, any brown lip liner. Um, I'm just choosing to use this one because I don't want it to be too dark and I don't want it to be too light. I want it to kind of like, you know, make my lips look good. Okay, so I'm going to go on with Quickie just because, I don't know, I just, I've been wanting to try Quickie and it's just, it's just, I don't know. Like, ever since I swatched it, I was like, oh, I want to wear that with whatever first look I do. Okay, now I have my liner on. I'm super excited for this lipstick. I am just so excited and I'm glad to be wearing like a regular lipstick. I mean, lately I've been wearing my regular MAC lipsticks lately, but I don't know. I'm just super excited to be just wearing a regular lipstick and I'm just super excited. Can't wait to see how it looks with this look. Okay, I feel like that looks a lot better. So I am going to top it with the lip gloss, but you could definitely leave it like this because I feel like it looks really good like this as well. But um, just for the sake of the video and just using like everything, I'm going to go in with the lip gloss on top. Here's the lip gloss and it's called Neat Freak and I'm super excited to use this as a topper. Mm, I really like that already. It's like, um, it has like reflex in it. It's like really pretty. I'm sorry if that's not a good description, but this color with Quickie looks so perfect. Not to say it doesn't look good with the other colors, but it just looks really perfect, like impeccable. Like this just brought Quickie to another level. Mm, I love how glossy it is like it's so nice and glossy like do you guys I'm gonna have to order some more of this one because I've been really into gloss glossy lips lately and this is like the perfect topper so I'm gonna spray my face with this Mario Badescu rose water um just in preparation for the highlight because you know you gotta prep your face for that highlight so for the highlight, I'm going to be using Boomin' because I am trying to be Boomin', okay? And then I'm going to also tap it off and then apply it to the face. Hmm, is that Boomin' or what? You guys, that is Boomin'. So I'm going to put a little bit on the bridge of my nose here and then on the tip of my nose. I love to highlight my nose like it kind of gets excessive sometimes but I don't mind. I'm going to take this Accentuate brush by Sonia Kashuk and I'm going to add a little bit to the brow bone as well as to my inner corners of my eyelids. Okay, so I'm also going to go ahead and go back in with my finishing spray and I'm going to set it again just to have it like kind of melt in my skin so it's not just like highlight sitting on top of my skin. Okay, divas, so this is the finished look. I think it looks really, really gorgeous and fabulous. And I am in love with this highlight. So let me go ahead and just walk through and tell you guys how I feel about the 
products so far and whether or not I would recommend them. Okay, so let's start off with the Perception palette. So I think this palette, like first of all, I think it is so gorgeous, like just the design of the whole package and everything. I absolutely love the packaging. It's really, really gorgeous. And she did say that she did take her time to work on this packaging to make it perfect. So it's definitely beautiful and I definitely appreciate that. Also, the colors in this palette is absolutely amazing. It can take you from day to night. Um, it could just be an everyday palette. It could be for date night, girls night, whatever. Like, I really do like this palette and I really do see myself using this palette and like reaching for it because I've already thought of like six different looks that I want to do with this palette. So that is just like, it's just it speaks for itself. So let's go ahead and move on to the lipstick. So I really do really, really, really like this lipstick. It is so gorgeous. As you guys can see, like it just looks so gorgeous on my lips. And I feel like this could be an everyday nude color, especially with the combination of the lipstick and the lip gloss. Like it will be just so perfect for every day or even for going out. Like I feel like, I don't know, like I really like this collection and I really appreciate it because it can be for like going out or just every day. Like that's what I really love. But this this color quickie right here I know at first like it looks like it's a bit too light for you know chocolatier skin tones and I am very chocolate and as you guys can see I am wearing it well all you need is like that perfect brown liner Colourpop also has liners um I can't like speak oh actually I have the one from the Seta E collection because I did get her collection as well but um yeah I have the one from the Sarah E collection so if you want to um get a liner by them definitely go on there and see like what brown liner you would like or you could just use a brown liner that you already have because you know just use whatever you have but yeah as long as it has like a good brown liner i feel like this lipstick is absolutely perfect and it's definitely workable and wearable on deeper complexions just in case you were worried about it because i know at first looking at it like online, I was like, ooh, I might not be able to wear that, but I actually really, really love it. So let's go ahead and talk about Neat Freak, which is the ultra gloss. Wait, is this an ultra gloss? Yeah, this is an ultra glossy lip. So I really, really love this one. I'm wearing it today, as you guys know. I'm wearing it today, and I really, really do like it. Like, I feel like this is the perfect lip topper. Like, I have to go back and order more. I hope it's not sold out. I didn't even check. After I made my order, I was just like, I'm good to go. I have mine coming. I'm not worried about it. But now, after trying this, I definitely need to have this lip topper in my life. Like, I need some more to make sure because I know I'm going to use this all up. Up, especially for spring and summer like I'm definitely gonna use this up so I'm gonna need some more I absolutely love it and I will highly recommend it like I feel like you need this like you need this to be your topper like on like every little nude like perfect nude glossy lip you know like you need this topper so I would definitely recommend it okay so last but certainly not least we're gonna talk about the highlighter and today I use the one in booming and definitely like that's the perfect name for it because it's booming like it even played up my eyeshadow like so much like look at how more sexy and smoky and sultry my eyes look just by adding that highlight in there like it looks so bomb like I love it and you guys know I'm here for like a booming highlight you guys already know like my highlight always has to be on point like I absolutely love highlights so yes like definitely but yeah anyways divas that is pretty much it i hope that you guys have found this video very helpful and easy to follow and if you guys did then go ahead and give me a thumbs up be sure to go ahead and leave me a comment down below let me know what you guys think let me know if you have any video requests you want to see any tutorials with any other colors i'm probably going to do a poll on it so definitely look out for that but if you already know what you want um or if you want to see anything else then definitely leave it in the comment section down below i'll be more than glad to go ahead and fulfill those um request for you guys but yeah thank you guys so much for watching be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already and also hit the notification bell i do upload quite often girls so you definitely do not want to miss any of my videos but yeah divas thank you guys so so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and i'll see you fabulous divas in my next video bye